No, there's been a lot of Ravens fans that have been very frustrated with the free agency process. Um, I mean, it is normal for the Ravens to move slow in free agency or not necessarily move slow, but just not really be active like that. Uh, they've been that way really for the longest. But I know this offseason with everything going on, it's been weighing a lot more than usual on Ravens fans minds. Obviously, we know the whole contract situation with Lamar. That is the focal point. Um, but. Outside of that, there hasn't been much activity from the Baltimore Ravens. Of course, they did resign a couple of their own guys, brought back Justice Hill, uh, signed Trayvon Mullen. Um, they brought back Geno Stone and also Nick Moore. So they have made moves, but it's all for guys that they had already. There hasn't been any outside free agents. But now, but now they have some potential because they are having their first public, at least, free agent visit. And it is with former... Raiders, former Colts, cornerback, Rock Yassin. I always loved his name. Always loved his name. Now, I'm not going to come on here and act like I know anything about his game because I am naive to how he plays, uh, how good he is. I just don't know anything about um, his game on the field. Uh, but as far as the business side, what this could possibly mean for the Baltimore Ravens. Now, um, we know Marcus Peters. We're familiar with Marcus Peters. Now, I wonder because this has happened before. This has certainly happened before. I remember when it happened with, um, I think it was Hassan Reddick. Uh, but obviously, Bowser was a lot younger than Marcus Peters back then. But I remember when um, there were Ravens were in talks with Tyus Bowser in hopes to bring him back or sign him to an extension or whatnot. Um, but nothing had happened yet. Uh, so the Ravens, they brought in Hassan Reddick on a visit. And... Then, like, a day or two later, it was announced, oh, the, the Ravens uh, come to a contract extension with Tyus Bowser. Then I remember um, some years back when Nick Boyle, he was getting ready to be a free agent. Uh, Ravens were obviously in talks with him. Nothing happened yet. They brought in Dwayne Allen for a visit. Tight end, blocking tight end, known for being a blocker. He was on the Colts as well. Brought him in for a visit. What happened the next day or within two days? Nick Boyle signed to a contract extension. Now, um, I'm not saying this is necessarily happening with Marcus Peters, but I could see something like that because right now uh, Marcus Peters is a free agent. The Ravens have not brought him back yet, uh, at least. And I, I'm not sure if they are going to bring him back or not. It's a very, very good question. A lot of times I've been wondering, are they going to give him sort of the Jimmy Smith treatment to where, all right, go ahead and explore the market, go test it out, and if you don't find anything, we'll gladly bring you back at a reduced price, reduced cost, reduced deal. Um, so I, I could see that happening. But at the same time, maybe Marcus Peters, and this is just me. I haven't heard anything, anything like that, but this is just my own uh, thought process. Maybe they're talking to Marcus Peters. And Marcus Peters, he wants this number, but the Ravens are like, no, we only want you back at this number. Um, and he's like, oh, okay, all right. So they, they talked or whatnot. And the Ravens are like, hey, all right, rock your sin. Come on. We, we know you got a lot of experience playing corner in this league. We can never have enough corners, as us Ravens fans already know, because uh, it's just something about that position with the Ravens. It just always falls apart every year. Um, but it, it, could be a, it could be one of them moves. Where they bring in somebody at your position and like, hey, we we can move on without you. We'll move on. We'll, we'll keep it moving. Whether you want to stay or you want to, hey, it's up to you, whatever. We're good either way. Um, In hopes that the person that they really want, will the asking price will come down in, um, with the threat of them possibly being replaced. Because it happens. It happens. Uh, it is a nasty business and, and teams will use tactics to, to do that. To get somebody to come down off their salary Again, I'm not saying that this is what's happening But we have seen this stuff happen in the past With the Baltimore Ravens With players that they want to sign With their own guys that they want to re-sign Or extend, or give them an extension Or bring them back or what Now we've seen it happen before So could it be happening? I, I don't know But that's the one of the first things that came to my head um, But we'll see So shout out to Rock Your Sin I um, hope he has a really good visit with the Ravens, uh, and we'll see how things go. Same keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. I love y'all, and we out.